everybody and welcome to my second tutorial on Microsoft Excel 2013 and in this tutorial I'm just going to go through the basics of cell referencing and uh, inputting data into your spreadsheet. So the very first page that comes up is the one that I've got open now which shows you, uh, it allows you to open up a new spreadsheet. So you've got all of these different standard ones you can use. I'm not going to use any of these in these, this tutorial. Uh, it's all going to be just ones we've created from scratch because these are really good to use but there's no point using them if you don't know how to, to kind of use Excel anyway. You've also got on the left hand side you've got a list of all your recent uh, things you've had open so you can reopen them if you want to. Uh, I'm just going to click on blank workbook to start completely anew. Uh, and this is the user interface that you get for Microsoft Excel. So at the top we've got uh, so save, redo and undo. Uh, I've got a couple of extra things that so ignore them, you shouldn't have those on yours. They're to do with VBA so you'll see about them in my VBA tutorials. Uh, we've then got file here which will open up kind of save, print etc etc. You'll know how to use file. Uh, and then you've got the what this is called the ribbon. Uh, and you've got different tabs on your ribbon uh, and we'll be going through pretty much everything in here so you've got all your cell formatting uh, and you've got all of your graphing and things and all that kind of stuff um, we then as we move down we've got our name range box here so this is the name of the cell that you've currently got selected uh, and then we've got the formula bar that is where you can write your formulas uh, and then moving down we've got our actual spreadsheets, most of you know about this part uh, and we've got our rows down the side and then columns along the top uh, marked A through to Z, Z and then onwards using AA etc and then 1, 2, 3, 4 blah 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 numbers down the side and then going down to the bottom we've got our different sheets across the bottom so it starts off with one sheet if we click on here we can add new sheets in uh, and if we right click them and press delete we can take them back away again uh, or copy them and move them around etc uh, if you just double click on them you can rename them so my first sheet and you can also just change the color on them as well if you want to so let's just make one green there we go uh, and then let's quickly shoot across down to here so here you've just got different uh, view settings so you can zoom in and out i'm just going to leave it 100 percent, and you can also view it in different formats as well so let's just get started putting some data into our spreadsheet so you literally just select a cell type in it press enter uh, and you can keep doing this uh, we notice here I'm writing 1 3 to 5 you can actually just click on this button here and if you select a range click on this button here so you've got a little black cross cross and click and drag it down and you'll notice that all of your data continues as that pattern emerges and you can do it for quite a lot of things so if we put in January and then pull that down then it'll go through to December uh, if you keep going it will go through January again uh, and it works for date as well so if I put in today's date and then drop that down you'll see that it does all the dates in a row as well so very useful feature that's very useful to remember uh, and so this is just normal inputting of data and we'll go through the different data types that are in a bit uh, and the final thing I just want to go through is a basic formula. So formulas you just type into your cells as normal. And you can type them into cell or quite often a lot of people like to use this formula bar up here just by clicking in it. Uh, and to do a formula, you signify a formula, you type in equals and then you type whatever formula you want. Uh, and we're going to be referencing cells. So let's say we want to reference this cell here. So we want to make... A formula that shows this cell here. Uh, this cell is called A1 because it's column A and then row 1. So we just type in A1. Uh, and you'll see now that this cell literally just equals what that cell is. Uh, and again we can use our little black cross to drag this down and our formula is going to increment in the same pattern. So as we go down it's going to reference the next cell across. Uh, and if you click in the formula bar, you can see which cell it's actually referencing. 
Uh, alternatively, if you press F2, it will also show you which cell is being referenced. Uh, and that's going to be it for this tutorial. That's the very basics of Excel and cell referencing and inputting data. Uh, in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can start using formulas. And the next, all the next few tutorials we're going to be using are going to be showing you how to use different kind of basic formulas because they're the basis of pretty much everything you're going to be doing in Excel. So thanks for listening. I hope to catch you in the next tutorial.